And tonight, a young child has life-threatening injuries, and Sioux Falls police are still looking for three people who crashed a stolen SUV into an apartment where the child was sleeping. It happened near West 3rd Street and North Elmwood Avenue around 4 o'clock this morning. Neighbors, we talked with are shaken up after waking up to the sound of sirens and crying. Kelloland's Carly Phillips has an update on the crash in our top story. Police say a three-year-old boy was pinned against the wall after an SUV crashed through this apartment building. The SUV went through the wall, hit the couch, and the child was pinned between the couch and the wall. They're able to get him out of there, um, was taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. A 37-year-old man who was also in the apartment at the time was hurt, but is expected to be okay. Police say the SUV was traveling south on a makeshift alley. Many neighbors questioned if it's even an actual road. The SUV hit a balcony post before crashing through the wall. We had some witnesses that saw a couple, I think there was three people, two women and a man, left that vehicle and fled, so we don't know who the driver was at this point. Officers found open alcohol bottles inside the vehicle and say the SUV had been reported stolen last weekend. My biggest concern is that uh, auto theft and stuff like this has been happening a lot more in Sioux Falls. Um, I grew up in Denver and I know how bad Denver's gotten. I visited my dad just this past July when me and my fiance got engaged and seeing it happen in Sioux Falls actually concerns me. Police say surveillance video and witness statements have played a key role so far in the investigation but they're still searching for answers. In Sioux Falls, Carly Phillips, Kelloland News. No arrests have been made, and an exact number of people involved is still being investigated by police. If you have any information, you're asked to call the non-emergency number or leave a tip with Crime Stoppers at 367-7007 or use the P3 Tips app.